Hello guys, welcome to next video of this playlist Python for beginners. Up till now we have successfully completed tkinter playlist and oops playlist for beginners. Now from this video or in coming videos we will be exploring file handling operations in python. In coming videos we will be learning how we can create a new file using python, add content to that file, save that file, read the contents of file in different styles and so on. So stay tuned to this playlist for amazing journey. Now let's move to the today's topic which is introduction to file handling. For that let's move to the destination folder. So this is a destination folder and I will open this folder in VS code that I usually do. So let's open today's file. So today's day 54 as you can see and the title is introduction to file handling and basic operations. So what is file handling? File handling can be defined as a simple task to create a file, to update that file, managing users who can access the file and all operations related to a file. So this is the definition of file operation. Now let's explore them one by one. So initially there are three types of mode in file operation as you can see. First is W which means the writing mode. Second is R which is the reading mode. And last is X. X means execution mode. So let's explore these different types of file handling modes one by one. So first is opening a file in write mode. So to create a new file, we have to simply create a variable, let's say file. After that use open command so that the file will be get open and we have to pass the name of the file. So let's pass the name as example.txt. After that in which mode we wish to open the file. So initially we want to write some data in the file. So I will simply write w so that the writing mode gets open and also you can see here various options let's say this so plus a plus a b plus a t plus b a so these are all various operations of file handling mode but initially for your understanding let's keep it to basic so i will simply write it w so that the file will open in writing mode after that writing the contents in file so to write contents i can simply use file which is a variable name dot write and the content that we wish to write in the file so i will simply write uh, let's say uh, hello viewers uh, welcome to my youtube channel so i hope the sentence is correct So the content inside the example.txt file will be hello viewers welcome to my youtube channel. After that a one important step that you must never miss is that closing the file. So this will avoid any file losing operation which means if you do not close the file sometimes the data inside the file may get lost or corrupted. So it's a good choice to close the file after performing any task related to the file. So I would like to show you first output. Initially there is no file available here also in this folder as you can see now when I click on this run button a file will be created which is this example.txt so this is the created file after our coding now let's open this file and the contents of this file are hello viewers welcome to my youtube channel so in this way we can simply create a new file write data in that file now let's move ahead to explore the next concept. So I will simply close or comment this part to avoid any error in future. After that opening a file in read mode. So I will simply use the same variable or let's say same concept and I will just here write as R. So the file will get open in reading mode. After that we want to print the contents of that file or in short we want to read the contents of that file. So we will print the contents of the file. For that I will simply go in next line which is line number 24 and simply type content which is the new variable and I will simply write file dot read. So this will simply read the file contents and store in the variable name as content. After that I will simply print content variable because the contents of that file are available in this content variable and a good choice is to close a file after performing any operation 
so I will simply write file dot close. So this is our error free code. I hope now let's run the code. So as you can see, the output is building with a read. Oh, the error is coming because we have not added here closing and opening brackets. So I will simply run the file once again and let's wait for the output. So the output is in front of you as you can see. Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel, which is this. So in today's video, we have learned that how you can create a new file, write contents in that file, and also how we can access the contents of that file using only one line, which is file.read. I hope you have understood the concept that I have explained in this video. So that's all for today's video. If you like this video, then don't forget to share it with your family and friends. Also, if you face any queries while running this code or something that you have not understood, you can simply message me on Instagram or in comment section below. Also, the source code of today's video is available in video description. You can definitely check out that. Here comes the end of this video. Thanks for watching this video.